Hello, media leaders. This is Josh from medialeaders.com. I want to show you in this short video how we use some automation within MailChimp. Our favorite email client is MailChimp. Deliverability, mobile, responsive, it's amazing. Now, what I want to do is show you, we're actually combining two systems here. We have two different lists, and they are media leaders and Safe Smart Social. Safe Smart Social being our kids program, 13,500, and media leaders being about over 10,000, and then some coaching customers, people that buy products from us. So let's jump over to automation, one of my favorite parts of this system. And what this does is when people sign up on our Safe Smart Social Kids program, they get this drip campaign. Josh, what is a drip campaign? Well, we're going to set one up, but let me show it what it looks like first. If someone signs up and they, be, they opt in on the site and they attend one of our events, uh, so if they either opt in the site or they attend an event, they get an email number one. Immediately after this is triggered, they get an automation email. Welcome to this. And here's an Instagram and Yik Yak video. These are kid uh, videos on social media safety. Then seven days later, they get an email that says automation email number two, Snapchat, Whisper. Let's keep going. Seven days uh, they get other videos and more stuff. As you can see right here, we threw a bunch of people in. We threw 111 people in and they went through here. 46% of them opened it, 11% clicked it, 111 sends. In a few days, the rest of these people are gonna get it. You can change the emails by pausing them. It's really cool. Let me show you real quick. If you pause it, then what you can do is you can go and edit the email. Not only do you view it and not only is it mobile friendly, but Thank you for being a part of Safe Smart Social, which is our kids program. Each week you'll get this, boom, 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 boom. If you find these parent guide videos helpful, forward to a friend and have them sign up here. And you can share these and so on. Really neat stuff. Okay, so let's go back to save and return to the workflow. We're gonna go set a workflow up. If you made any changes to that, you need to pause it before you can edit it. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna save and go back to automation. I call this a drip campaign. Why? Because when you sign up for our newsletter, we slowly send you every week or every two weeks very targeted emails on how you can improve. We're gonna create in the upper right an automation workflow. I click that big button in the upper right. Then we're gonna select a list. This is gonna be for media leaders. What you can do is set up all these different kinds of things. And you can do a custom one, which we're probably going to do. Or you can do a welcome message and educate subscribers. I like custom because we're going to do everything starting from scratch. If you hook to have us hooked up to your website, you could do a specific product purchase. If someone buys a widget, then you can email them right after. If they purchase from a category of products or any purchase and so on. Let's go ahead and select custom in the upper right. Okay, the workflow name is going to be the ML email drip campaign and what this does is it's our newsletter we'll call it newsletter uh, drip campaign for educational it's going to be from josh oaks from media leaders my main email address you can use conversations to manage replies you can personalize that this is how i how i do this um tracking track opens I'm not going to send an activity digest. I don't like that, but I like to track opens and cl track clicks. I also like to put Google Analytics in there and that and I take the date off because this is a long term event. This is something that will work long after the date is over. And next I turn everything off and I don't like e-commerce 360 on because it adds some weird stuff. If you're selling on your site, you could turn that on. Next, let's go to the triggers. Now, the cool thing about triggers is, and I may not have this set up perfectly, if a subscriber joins the list, media leaders, what I really want here is when something happens. So the subscriber joins the list, trigger when, when they're imported, but I want to add it to segmentation. Uh, I'll show you here in a sec. So what I want to do is when the subscriber joins media leaders, we can trigger the workflow when the subscribers are imported. But I prefer to do is when they match the following segmentation conditions. And here's what that means. And I actually have a mistake here. We're going to go fix it. If the subscribers match any or all, I'm going to do any. If the date is added is after after something. But what I want to do is go down to a group. And groups are really cool. A group if they opted in on the newsletter widget. And what that means is they opted in on the site. And I was going to change that up. But if they opted in on the newsletter widget or the newsletter pop-up 
or and they want something else, uh, download chapter one of Light, Bright, and Polite on MediaLeaders.com. If it's any one of those, or yeah, if it's any any one of those, then they're going to get put into this and send the first email immediately to existing subscribers. I don't really think we want to do that quite yet, so we're we're not going to do that. Um, but here's what we will do. As soon as possible, send it out. It goes out on any day. Let's go to the next one. Now, this is where it gets fun. This is where the emails are at. There's no emails. Here's your segmentation. You can change that up quite a bit. If they opt in on a newsletter widget, newsletter pop-up, what does that mean if they opted in? Well, I created some very little uh, groups in the back end. So if you go to lists, you go to media leaders, Let's go over here and click on, and there's a way to manage subscribers, sign up form settings. And what you can do here, and I'm going to do this on the other page, we're going to go media leaders, and we're going to click on this, click manage subscribers, and I'm going to click on groups. Now, it's a little bit hard to see this, but here's what I did. I clicked on groups to get to this, and I went to this following area right here, which is We've created two groups. What the heck is a group, Josh? Well, when they get imported from our website, as you opt in on the upper right using our system that we have up here, which is called Gravity Forms, you can utilize this as well, your first name, email, it tags you as the newsletter widget on Media Leaders. It adds you to a group. It imports you to the list, but it gives you a little tag. What the heck is that? Well, when you click on this, do you see the networking attendee, DGS attendee, purchase tickets, DGS, webinar, all these different people. Um, and if they opted in, look how clean I have this. I'm segmenting my people. Here's the newsletter widgets, the people that have opted in in the last few months, the newsletter pop-up. And the reason is we went to MailChimp. Here's blog contributors, the people that downloaded Light, Bright, and Polite Chapter 1 and the people that have contacted us. Pretty cool, right? So what we're going to do is... Everybody that's on the newsletter widget, the newsletter pop-up, which is sometimes a random thing that we do if we have a pop-up, or download of the book, we're going to add an email. We'll call that automation email number one. Now, as you saw from my other thing over here, let's go over to another automation. For the S3, which is our kids program drip campaign, I called it automation one, and I put welcome, comma, boom, and boom, which is two videos or blog posts. We're going to do the same thing right here. We're going to design the email. Now, this is how I do it. Mobile friendly is automation email number one, welcome. And then Anastasia in my office is going to do blog one. She's going to change the word blog one and two to words. And she'll, it'll say email marketing or whatever. And she's going to put those blogs in there, the names of them. It'll be 25... 25 email tips or maybe just email tips and SEO tips. And that's what we're going to send them in their welcome email. The email subject is welcome to medialeaders.com. Something like that. Something very simple. We'll probably clean that up at a later date. It comes from me. Now it could it could reply back to team at media leaders as well, but ML newsletter drip campaign is our Google Analytics for this. Go pick a template. This is how I do this. I do one column, very, very basic. You could do one column banded too. If you want to click on them and see what it looks like, this is what the sample. This is why I love MailChimp. They've got this figured out. It's not the most free thing in the world, but look how it's banded. Um, what this does is towards the bottom, the, the gray goes all the way to the edge. I don't love that uh, one, two column. I don't love these, even though they're great on desktop. They don't always work really, really well in a mobile because it puts one above the other. So what I'm going to do is just use the good old basic one column. And then Anastasia in my office is going to fill it in with everything we have. So the first thing I do is this area up here at the top, offer a short preview of your email. I take that and I don't, um, well, you can use it, but I want it to look personalized. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete that image. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want any big images taking up my email. Next thing I do is I grab text and I click it over there. Don't accidentally put it in the header. It wants to go in the header. Put it in the body. And then I delete this. Why are you going to delete that? Because I want to start from scratch. I love this starting from scratch. We're going to do a welcome insert welcome box here. Anastasia is going to beautify this. She's really good at this area down. Um, if we went over to the save and close, she'll go into and, and put a big 
uh, really nice email in here and do all that stuff. But I'm going to do a welcome box for me. I might say, it might, this up here, usually I get rid of it, but it could say, welcome to medialeaders.com. Something like that. It might even be targeted. Like, here's your 25 email tips. I love to get rid of this. And in my first book, I said, get rid of this block header. It looks terrible. But when you're reading it mobile, sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad i might even do a b testing it i might try that out and one of them i see what the deliverability is and the other one as well with and without it and see what happens so there you go there's your design let's finish it this will be a beautiful email when we're done let's do automation email numero dos right so we click on that we click the design the email once again automation email two this is how i do it i go um blog two uh three and four and I like to put two tips in there. Hey, this is what we're going to teach you today. And, and uh, here's two tips you can click on. Email subject. It could be blog three and four titles from medialeaders.com. Something like that. From name, drip campaign, template once again. Mobile friendly, select, great. Now the cool thing is Anastasia is going to go in here. She's going to clean this up once again. We delete the imagery, delete designing the email we're going to remove that are you sure yeah because we're just going to drag in normal text and just make it nice make sure you drag it into the body okay see that body how it's there boom great save and close when we're done we'll finish this we'll go back to the system if anastasia needs to add more she'll go automation email number three and she'll put the title of those two and that way we can read it now should we do the this is the most fun part change the delay i want this to be immediate immediately after the workflow is triggered which means they join and they get tagged with those groups and then this is one day after i want to do it seven days after okay so seven days we'll send them once a week they opt in they get some really good stuff someday if we feel that they're opting out a whole lot we can go in here and change this to 14 days 30 days whatever we're going to put 20 or 30 of these emails in there we're going to send people our best content in fact those of you that are watching this right now we put together a list anastasia once again in the office put together an awesome list of all the best content that we have and we did it by views and time on site and stuff and we found that 24 of these things are amazing so we've put this together so that when you opt in there you're going to start to get our best blog posts in your inbox and we're gonna put that together. Okay, so there you go, there's automation workflow. We're not gonna confirm it and turn it on yet. It's not quite ready, but we've picked a list. We've picked tracking and turned that on, check. Email authentication, which means it's sending from medialeaders.com and it's authenticated that we own that. Trigger the workflow when the following conditions are met. People subscribe to media leaders. There's actually another condition. You want to double and triple check that. And then automation email number one, welcome blog and all that stuff. And you'll see two. And then as you add these on. Now, Josh, do I should I start the workflow uh, before I finish all of them or after? Well, once you beautify these two, you can start it just before they finish number two, add three, four, and five on. And what I mean is now that we've saved this. Let's go over to automation, the other automation system over here for our kids program. Same thing, except when, when 111 people get through all of these, if we add one more at the bottom, we see how you can still add without pausing anything. You just add an email and all of a sudden it throws it on the end and everybody that's would be down in here gets thrown in it. All right, so let's review. We went into MailChimp and we went up to the front and we clicked on automation. We added something called ML newsletter drip campaign. This is S3 newsletter, which is our safe, smart social. Media leader stands for, ML stands for media leaders. Hopefully that made sense. And you can look at your sends and all this cool stuff right here. You can also go into reporting and get really, really advanced with it. Go into reporting, click campaigns, go to automation. Uh, here's our drip campaign that we sent out a bunch of them today and so on. You can view the report. You can see who's clicked on stuff the most and all that cool stuff. Okay, terrific. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I do all this for free for you. I love it when you learn and I love it when you offer tips back to us. So please comment, say something nice below. Tell me what you learned. It makes my day. Uh, thumbs up. If you subscribe, it'll absolutely make my year. I'm Josh with medialeaders.com. You can opt in to get a bunch of our tactical tips and learn from stuff just like this.
25 email marketing tips to get your customers engaged. I wrote a book called Light, Bright, and Polite that you're welcome to buy. Thanks so much, everybody. As always, have a great day and keep it light, bright, and polite. Take care.